Now this one is going to be on hose with a good idea. I don't know if I'm saying this, because I, 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 I didn't, I didn't um, upload the first version when I was introducing the uh, the thing I wanted to call it. I, I think I called it hose with a good idea. Or was it hoes who think they have a good idea? Well, whatever. It'll be on the title, so y'all will know. Um, so, uh, today, um, Jada Pinkett Smith, um, made a, uh, a post on her Facebook talking about, um, encouraging black women to vote for Hillary, um, she kind of raised the question of she's kind of she's on a feminist tip, so uh, so she she's writing a post. It's kind of a, a very lengthy one, and she talks about how um, black women have um, always wanted to support. You know. You know she actually well, let me go back. She's making this kind of she 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 titles it race versus um gender and she's talking about which one is the greater alliance for true equality and so she talks about um kind of women fem women's uh the movement women's movement and how black women have supported you know women's rights but it kind of had been backstabbed by the white feminists and you know the white feminists are not giving black feminists you know their uh tributes and they're not getting the shine that they supposed to supposedly had gotten and so basically um yeah it's basically that and i i really kind of look at like, even with my own friends um i saw them kind of posting you know vote for hillary and i guess because people kind of still kind of eager to look at you know first you know we, we were looking for some new first coming out you know first black president and i guess now everybody's willing to uh join the bandwagon of first uh female president um i guess i think really i think hillary may have a serious um go I know she'll probably be the number one Democratic candidate. I'm kind of really eager to see who's going to be the Republican candidate because to me, it seems so neck and neck because I know white people, are, especially white men, they're, just, they're dying to reclaim, you know, the fuckery that Obama allegedly done or they, he supposedly done that they don't like. So I know that they're on a rant to, you know, undo whatever Obama did, Obamacare, this and that. I know the right to do that. But I also think that Hillary may have will have a good chance because a lot of <coughs> you know, feminism has really gotten up ever since I probably say since two thousand ten, maybe thirteen about. Really between there uh, a lot of people are getting into feminism. I've been hearing it a lot. Actually, I've been hearing it ever since I took my um, my uh, uh, women's studies course at at, at college. I, I ever since then, you know, I've been seeing and noticing a lot of stuff on feminist talk. Even uh, you know, MTV is really taken over by feminist agenda. You know, <coughs> you hear them talking about you know you know slut shaming they're talking about rape on their facebook page you know privileges and you know trans lives and all this and that and you know same thing with like cosmopolitan they're doing the same thing and huffington post their feminist stuff is getting out there too and um i i really think that feminism is really uh, revolutionizing not for the better but you know I think a lot of people are looking into it and really think that it's uh, something to uh, get into um, I think a lot of people are naive 
and uh, even uh, Tariq Nasheed, he, surprisingly, he posted on um, on um, J Jada, um, yeah, Jada Pinkett Smith's uh, comment post on uh, Hillary, and he was talking about hey, um, that that looks, that sounds noble, that sounds thoughtful, all that, but hey. You need to understand why feminism was created, and he kind of uh, listed a book on Amazon, uh, which was I think it was called the American Origins of Feminism. I think that's what it's called. But I'm gonna get that book. Hopefully, it's in the it's in Kindle. I can get it for the Kindle. Um, and I'm I'm gonna check that book out. But um, I, I don't think feminism is for everybody. I'm, I'm really tired of black women getting into this thing, you know, trying to tag team with white women so they can feel beautiful and validated. But then again, when white women, you know, are seen as the captains of the women's movement, they feel some type of way, you know, you really can't make everybody happy. And so that's the thing about feminism is that there's too many people in it. Too many people can qualify for feminism, you know. I can be a male feminist and then I can just bitch and moan about, hey, how come there's no men talking about feminism? How come, you know, uh, men, you know, men, men feminists aren't taken seriously? And, you know, it, to me it's just too much. There's too much deviations. There's too much stuff. That's why feminism is not valid. It's just all over the place. It's worse than a Christian church. Think of all the hundreds of denominations there are. You know, feminism doesn't have a clear agenda. It can't make everybody happy. You know? I really hope that black people kind of can see past the bullshit that Hillary is doing. And one thing I really didn't like about, you know, these Hillary campaigns is that they're always neglecting black men. I, I, I really kind of just kind of grew sick and tired of this shit of, um, they're, they, you know, they're, they're targeting, you know, I know they're like, yeah, they're doing it on purpose to target black female votes. But I'm like, okay, wait a minute. If you're going to talk about the black community, don't just solely talk to black women. Because don't act like they're the ones running the whole shit. Yeah, I know it's a matriarchy. Yes, I know it's a matriarchy. But hey, not every dude is wants it to be a matriarchy. So, that, you know, that's my stick is that I don't like that they're purposely... Because the, these news media outlets, they purposely put the camera on black women to make it seem like, oh, they're the ones, the main ones marching. They're the main ones uh, fighting for the community. And, like, I look at this, like, okay, where's the black men? Are we just the ones getting shot? And then the black women march, they're crying, they're doing this and that. You know, I, I, I feel kind of, like, kind of disgusted. But then again, I'm like, I know there's black men out there who's putting in real work. And the thing is, the media doesn't want to cover it because it's controversial, you know. It's, it's not the type of passive shit and that, that's probably what it is it's probably because there isn't a lot of black men who are passive about police brutalities you know they ain't running up to hug no uh cop so i, I get it though so i, I kind of get it but you know don't create this narrative that only black women are fighting for black lives or for other black men don't do that don't, don't ever do that but um, I guess this is my video. Um, I really hope uh, Jada Pinkett Smith read uh, Tariq Nasheed's comment and uh, kind of get her shit together because I, I that family, the, the, that Smith family is just really fucked up. I really don't like what uh, her son is into. But I, I'll probably be another video I'll make. 